So I just thought of an interesting idea. I, I was using chat GPT to help me code. It's really good at generating things much quicker than I can. And um, I thought of this idea of having a notification sound, right? And you can play sound through Python, right? So I was thinking, what if you kind of played these sounds together? You could make music. I thought, well, geez, I wonder if chat gpt could literally generate music um using code uh i just think any any sort of media that a language model could generate is super interesting because it's just it's a language model it's not it's not made for that um so let's take a look let's just first take a look at this um well there's a sneak peek of what i was going to try later uh, let's just do this notification sound and I'm going to bump this up to 300 because otherwise I can't hear it and you probably can't hear it if you're listening on a phone because 200 is a little too low but let's give that a try see and I asked it to generate a notification sound and that's that's I would call that a notification sound let's let's do it again yeah I mean, it's a pretty simple one, but I would call that a notification sound. So then I asked it to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And um, we got this. It got close a couple of times there. It almost got there, but not quite Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But it's just, it's it's so fascinating that it could really wrap the concept of generating music around its head, you know, because it's a language model. It's just crazy. So then I tried, um, then I asked it for another song and it said, well, let's try Happy Birthday. So... Let's listen to that now. And I thought this was funny because I thought this one sounded like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yeah, not... Yeah, not quite Happy Birthday, but still really interesting nonetheless. And then I asked it to generate an ASCII image of a birthday cake. And, um, I mean, maybe I don't have a good enough imagination, but that does not look like a birthday cake with a candle on top. Uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, just the fact that it can generate media other than just text um, as a language model is so interesting. Uh, so let's see, let's... Uh, now generate a new song that you made up. A new song called The Wind Song. It even it even gave a name for it. Okay. Unless that's a real song. Oh my gosh, it's even making the lyrics. Okay, well, it stopped. It stopped at just one, uh, one line. But let's give it a, let's give it a listen anyways. The wind blows through the trees. Okay, well, that sounded a lot like the previous ones. I just think it's super fascinating that it can do that at all. Just the fact that it can generate any media is fascinating. Um, so I'm going to end this video off with one more, um, generate another ASCII image, uh, whatever you want. Wow. I mean, 
Yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought I was going to guess Christmas tree. But, uh, yeah. That, see, that's just, that's just super interesting. Um, okay, one, one, one last thing. Okay. Uh, now generate a higher resolution ASCII image. You don't need the code, just the ASCII. It's gonna it's gonna do the code anyways. It kinda just ignored me. Okay, I mean that is sort of Yeah, okay. That's a long tree. What is that, a pine tree? I mean, yeah. I guess that is higher resolution. Oh, what's going on there? Huh. Well anyways. Very cool. That's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching.